Hi team, welcome back to another Sunday ritual. In this episode, I want to talk about my 14 day apple cleanse. Yes, for the past 14 days, all I ate was apple. I consumed water, apple cider vinegar, and then my second week I started to include also herbal tea. So let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to say in this video is absolutely I do not recommend you to do a apple cleanse or apple diet for 14 days okay i do not recommend you to do this at home this is me what i did and i speak from my own experience okay i'm not trying to convince you i'm just talking about what i've been through um, in this process Okay, so just to explain why I'm also making this video is because I put out on my Instagram, which I'll put it down below so you can see my Instagram and follow if you want. Um, I put out a video to ask you guys to leave comments with questions that you have. Why I'm doing this because I've been documenting on my Instagram that I was doing this apple cleanse and I've been also always putting um, the day and how many apples I ate on the day. So. First of all, I want to say how this apple cleanse looked like for me. In the morning, first thing I got up was I would eat, uh, eat, I would drink a glass of water with apple cider vinegar. And a few days into my cleanse, I started to explore with sparkling water, which is something I usually never drink from organic land with um, my apple cider vinegar raw with the mother, um, one glass down it just felt like an actual nice drink to do it with sparkling water throughout the day um, i drink water just plain water and i eat, start eating apples around 2 p.m because i do natural intermittent fasting it's not something i'm trying to do it just comes very naturally uh, and then i just eat up apples as much as I, I was craving, um, as much as I was hungry on the day and finished eating around 8, sometimes it would go until 10 um, and that's okay. Yeah, the usual amount of apples will vary between I think 8 apples and 11 or 12, something between there. Yeah, that's not actually that much um, but I was just listening to my body, what it needed and what it wanted. And then in the evening before I got to bed, once again, I had apple cider vinegar with sparkling water um, before going to bed. That was kind of my routine for the past two weeks. And one week into my apple cleanse, after week one, I started to introduce also some herbal tea, mainly peppermint tea. I personally am someone, I get cold a lot. Like, uh, I get really cold. I do take cold showers in the morning. It's been since March and that has helped me so much to, um, to be actually warmer in my own body throughout the day and get less cold. But when I do cleansing, I've done water fasting before, when I'm on a cleanse like that, um, yeah, my body just still from the inside, I'm really cold. So that's why I started to introduce herbal tea. Now that we're clear what has been happening the past two weeks, um, I want to get in some of the questions that I received. Once again, I do not recommend you do this at home for 14 days. This was a personal decision for me. Um, and I will get into why a, bit, a little bit later. Question number one, um, weight loss, did you lose any weight? Okay, so I can definitely say that this was not for weight loss purposes, okay? And I did not weigh myself before going into the cleanse and I did not weigh myself now on the last day after the cleanse. So, did I lose any weight? I don't know, do I feel good? Yes, I do feel good, but I'm really ready as well to get back into eating amazing, healthy, nutritious, plant-based vegan meals. What kind of apples did I eat? Did I eat a variety or always the same? I ate mainly, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Braburn apples, <laughs> Breburn, Pink Lady and Granny Smith the very green ones um, these were my favorite ones pink lady uh, they just started to become a little bit too sweet for me honestly so I stayed with Breeburn or Brabourne however we say it and sometimes Granny Smith 
to just to change it up. Did you exercise on the cleanse? So, I don't know, some of you know I'm a movement artist and I teach and practice and study yoga and actually, yes, I was, but I don't go, actually at the moment, I don't go fully to the gym or anything like that. My exercise is movement, it's yoga, it's being connected to my physical body. So with the awareness, I am on a cleanse. I am not giving my body the proper nutrients it needs to function full out. Um, I, when I go into practice, I'm aware of that. I listen to my body. I listen to the state of being I'm in. I'm not just forcing myself into it. And on some days, I can tell you on the cleanse, I felt extremely energized and felt ve really spacious in my own body. And on some days, I felt really tired and like my muscles just, they don't go there anymore. So I respect that. I still kept my body moving, yes. But again, I was really conscious um, and cultivating awareness to even listen more to my physical body and to what's going on. So yes, I was exercising on a daily basis, practicing yoga, breathing, movement, but with a lot of awareness and really on some days very light, on some days a little bit more if I felt good. How can you do this for two weeks? What is your mindset? How can you do it? So for me, look, um, it's a thing of like, some people put their mind into one thing and then they just go for it. And that was kind of the thing that I wanted to, to do, to get back into putting my mind to one thing and focus on that one thing and just go for it and stay with it and make life easier around me, okay? Meaning like, if I have a focus point, if we have something in life, I'm not saying the diet, the apple cleanse was like my main focus of the life, but for this period of time, I just gave myself the permission to have this as a focus inward, okay? So, naturally, it was clear for me I'm sticking with it. And in the, in, in the very, um, there were thoughts coming up if I should actually go for 21 days, but then I was like, okay, towards the end, so the past few days, starting Friday and yesterday, I could really feel how um, my muscles would get weak, weak very quickly. So I'm again, I'm listening to my body because it, I also work as a yoga teacher. I have to be, you know, I have to show what show up and practicing with my students and be of energy and not like, Neh, you know. So um, it felt right. I intuitively listened to myself that now it's time is right to break. Um, the apple cleanse it's it's a mind thing like you if you want if you know why you're doing something then put your mind into it and it's easy if you have your intentions right then you can stick with it you know and I guess it's a good time now to get into why did I do this and my intentions with the apple cleanse so look um, for me it's very much like I talked about this in my previous video, if you haven't seen that one from two weeks ago, where I actually explained why I'm doing it. And the reason is because um, I'm someone, a lot of you are, who watch this video, I know, who feels very intensively. I feel a lot of energies around me, I feel a lot. and. Sometimes if I don't get enough time to myself, it's hard to process and understand at times what is my own energy and what is energies and stuff that I, that I take on from other people. It used to be a lot worse. I've gotten so much better with a lot of practice and with a lot of awareness, but there is still times where I feel overwhelmed. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Where is my own energy? What is, was, you know, like, where am I in this whole bubble and this whole game? And I, I was traveling um, last month, I went to see my family and there was very little time to self for me, to do my own practice. And even before that, I wasn't really consistent with my practice. When I say practice, I mean working with myself, working inwards, doing my work on myself on a continuous basis consistently. And 
this was just something that came up for me i wanted to do a water fast because i have done water fasting before for six days but intuitively it didn't feel right to water fast this time so i started to do some research what is what else is out there and then i i stumbled upon the apple cleanse and i was like oh again i'm a very intuitive person so this felt right and i saw that you can do it for three days and it is even recommended to do it three days do you research there's this guy i want to make sure i got his name right um edgar case i don't know if that's right I'll blend it down here. Go do your research. If you want to do the apple cleanse, do it for three days. That's what's recommended. For me personally, I have been experimenting with fasting and different ways of detoxifying my body. And I have to say that it's a personal experiment. I'm not encouraging you to do this as well. It's just me sharing my experience. And honestly, when I first put it out on my Instagram and started talking about it, about the apple cleanse, I felt a little bit like mm, it might was a mistake. Maybe I should have kept it to myself because it went so extreme to 14 days. But also at the same time I didn't and that's okay. The food is such a delicate, a delicate um, subject to talk about, especially because there's a lot of people with eating disorders or a strange relationship with food and it can trigger things in different people or give people ideas that are not that's not what I'm meant to do, okay? It is um, personal reasons. It is there to clarify not only my physical body, because I'm aware I already eat a vegan plant-based diet for almost six years now. I know that my body is probably cleaner than most bodies out there. Yet still, I do feel that things are stored within me and cleansing and fasting especially with fasting i just have experienced tremendous benefits in reconnecting to myself and also it is for many many years like it's there's in religion practices in different in different um cultures fasting is a part of of health like there's so many health benefits to fasting the purpose of my videos is not to talk you into something it's here to give you ideas that can make you go into deeper research into a subject if you want to do research and then you sit with it and if something feels right for you then you know intuitively this is something to do for me or to let it go that's not for me this is the same how i do work i don't just pick up everything that everyone tells me on youtube to do or that just goes around and people tell me oh this is good for you I need to sit with it, understand it, do research in, in, into it and intuitively ve feels if it's right or not. Sometimes my intuition is much faster than my research. I already know yes and sometimes I already know no, nah, that ain't for me. And I respect that, you know. So this is the purpose of my videos and also the purpose on why I share it. It's like a personal experiment, a personal experience. And I also want to mention that during this process of fasting, I have done my Reiki level 1. Um, and basically, if you don't know what Reiki is, I really highly recommend do some research into Reiki. I'm really excited. And when you get the attainments from your master teachers, there is a 21-day clearing process happening, meaning that there's again emotional and physical toxins coming up that are being released over this period of 21 days i'm still in this period right now um that was last weekend i did my attainment so it's been seven days which means i have two more weeks to go for 21 days and i do feel that that was also a motivation for me to keep going with the apple fast or with the apple cleanse um just to support that process of cleansing I think that's it for the video of this week. Once again, um, personal experience, talking from me, from, from my physical body, my mental and emotional and spiritual state of being, do what is right for me, for you. And again, my videos are not here to try to convince you of something. They're here to just share what's going on for me things that i think about things that i go through and if it sparks something within you do your research do your own research and all the work that i do all when i teach yoga when i perform when i teach workshops or when i speak to people um 
what it is and even the purpose of these videos I want to spark you to connect deeper within yourself and this is what I refer to as practice your calm because only you know at the end of the day what's really going on okay so you have to do the work you have to reconnect within yourself so you can execute your qualities and your um, your amazingness, your greatness, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, if something is not clear, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, um, please feel free to, to follow me. I'll insert it here as well. It's at Paletta Calm Quality or at Calm Quality. Um, and also, if you like my videos, I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down below. If not, that's okay too. Your choice. <laughs> what feels right to you is right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I want wish you a wonderful week. And uh, we'll be back with another video next week. Take care.